Good evening, wonderful people, dear friends, wherever you are. We welcome you to another exclusive edition of Radio Biafra Live, presenting this very day. This very glorious day that you quote made. Today it is the 15th of April. Now standing at exactly seven minutes past seven PM in the evening. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to a few and in the usual and form. When we started this program this evening, we are live on my Facebook page, Martin Namde Canon, but on Sonyously and Shemi. And without any warning, the force of iniquity force that proceeded to disengage us from that very platform, we have hastily connected because the, the gospel must be preached. If you are a follower of this very phenomenal liberation, if you are an avid listener, we are accustomed to regular interference and interruption from those of them who are iniquitous, they cannot describe as the children of petition. We started and we are alive, everything was okay, and sudden and without any warning. But this get us, but we are back again also on. Radio Biafra. We are on Radio Biafra paying numerous platforms all over the world. We are on FM. We are on satellite. The whole world is listening. Humanity is paying attention because our mission, our only mission and purpose is to bring to an end the miserable British corruption, is to render asunder that very cage in which Lugard gathered nationalities and that, that day are worthy of experimentation. That experimentation we are suffering till this very day. That is why we remained in pain. That is why we remained in penury. That is why there is no discernible progress. That is why good people hang on to monsters. That is why, obviously, men and women of good conscience have turned into cold monsters and demons around the place. The zoo must fall for men to live. The essence of the very proclamation, this very gospel, this very message this evening. If you allow night to continue to exist, more people will die. Many militarized, many more will be rendered hopeless. Many more will live a life of regret. This evening, I am very, very confident that those of who are avid students of Radio Biafra, those of you you the light and enlightenment, those of you in such knowledge, you have come with your pain and your pain, that those of you who are listening right across every time zone on this very earth, because like any other, it is only radio, has listened to across the time breath of this very third plan, the sun, where humanity resides. Tell those who are around you, you will notify them, for they shall know the truth, and that very truth shall set them free. My name is Enamde Kano, I am the leader of the indigenous people of the earth. This very Adobe that resonates right around this very world, and by the very special base of Elohim, to go to Abiyama Prumi, 
are you forever remain a servant of the wonderful people of Biafra. Our job is to propagate, our job is to preach, our job is to shepherd the children of life into the safe abode of Biafra before the precipitous collapse, before the inevitable unraveling of the shambolic zoological republic. That job must be done by children of men, and that is what we're here to do without any favor. We are here to do this very magnificent, not minding the difficulties that we that we've been encountering every blessed day, every blessed time we seek to come on air to preach the gospel to the hearing of humanity. Our enemies will try, but they always fail. They try, but they fail. If you were disengaged before by Facebook, I strongly recommend that you join us. If you are not, so I will gladly suggest that you go and make sure you open a Twitter account because this evening we shall be doing something unique. This evening our expose the zoo has to be total, it has to be complete, it has to be defining, and it must be very, very effective. They have refused to reason. Therefore, we must compel to do so. The enemies will die. But as always, they will fail. They cannot prevail over the children of light. We must pray this very evening before we continue to hand over these very proceedings to Elohim in heaven, to ask for his mercy, for his grace upon those that call upon him. And more critically than anything else, to usher in this very land of the that men may live as free as heaven had always intended. And as we pray, we ask all of you, those who are in this spirit, those who understand the purity of this very mission, those who accept this very special commission to go and to serve humanity in truth and in every honesty, we will be to join us to call upon the heavenly Father who art in heaven. We give you every praise, every honor, every adoration. We have come before thee humbly to submit ourselves for your throne of grace. That you may have mercy and be upon your children who are being ravaged by hunger. That you may have pity upon us. Those of us who are being lied to persistently on a regular basis, that you may have pity upon us. Those who are suffering, those who are sick, those who are diseased right around the world, that you may bring your cutting hand upon them. For those that have passed, oh heavenly Father, that you comfort their armies. That you may comfort them. That your grace, O oh heavenly Father, may abide with us now and always, we pray. As I said, there are many platforms and many ways through which and by which you can listen to Radio Biafra this very evening. Our enemies are not relenting. The Yoruba people that were Facebook, they are not relenting. They will continue to interfere. And I'm sounding a very big note of warning this evening to our people right on the world and those who are suffering in the zoo who may not be of their destruction. That you have many enemies. There are enemies everywhere. And these enemies have that they may help you, they have come. That you may die ingloriously, that you may suffer. That hunger may persist in the land. That suffering may abound everywhere. They have come that they may fulfill that, that the purpose for which they brought vaccine into the zoo. They may fulfill the dream of the neocolonialists to hold us in chain and in bondage in perpetuity. They cannot prevail. 
they cannot succeed. We cannot allow them to prevail. We cannot allow them to succeed. As I said, we are simulcasting across a whole left of platform. We're casting live on Facebook, not just on page, but also on Radio Biafra. We are on tuning. We are on simple radio. You can receive this very gospel this evening also on our app on Radio Biafra. You can also be part of this very gospel on CHK 102.1, 102.2, 100.2, depending on where you are in the land. Saints of Biafra land can receive this very broadcast on their radio. I welcome you once again and this evening I would not say in a departure from our usual ways but what I have to say is very simple that those who are supporting the very condemnable very disastrous regime of the Fulani cabal will have themselves to blame in the end. You will have yourselves to blame in the end because we continue to speak the truth. And that truth is what shall lead us to freedom. It will lead us to the light because there is nothing the enemy can do to dissuade us. There is nothing the enemy can do to try to stop this very unstoppable train of the restoration of Biafra. Not just for Biafra, but for everybody else. They will try, they will fail. And they will continue to fail. As Facebook has also failed this very evening. Trying to restrict the number of people that listen. Trying to cut our streaming. Trying to frustrate us. Only gives us strength, courage gives us the, all the energy we need to continue this very effort that we are making to set everybody free, including those who are tampering with our live transmission this very evening. That hasn't stopped us in the past. It will not stop us this evening from dismantling the zoo and their lies. Nigeria is a land of lies, deceivers, and thieves. People who think that perhaps the mastery of a few lines of English prose somehow qualifies them to be regarded as intellectuals. Those who are out of stupidity, those who are out of timidity, those who are out of cowardice cannot stand up to defend the truth times as we have done here. This evening we render them as some, we decimate them completely and totally it doesn't matter what you interfere with what you don't interfere with this very evening we unmask what is left of the miserable zoological republic and all those that support her all those that benefit from the misery of the people if you have not brought your pen and paper then i doubt i, I do not see how you can and for this, there is no how you are going to do it. We do not have a clue how you are going to do it. But we are going to do everything we possibly can to make sure we give you the knowledge that you need to possess in order to be able to understand what is happening to your lives and why you have not made progress. Why this and the army will be more interested in killing people than feeding them why the police and the army in the zoo have killed more people the so-called dreaded COVID-19 why the Nigerian state will continue to preside over a regime of impunity and iniquity making your lives a living hell if you have what it takes, if you have brain cells functioning in your head, this evening you will be set free. We decide to be part of those that support and encourage evil, they are not going to learn anything at all. You must listen carefully, please. 
with the combination of hunger and of starvation going on now that has led to riots in some cities, with the double standards we are witnessing from certain segments of the zoo media, those who have borne witness to the killing of innocent people, the intimidation, the full anonymity because they loot and they burn, that is what they do. Those who have witnessed any terrorism, those who are now practicing the loot and the burn culture, the deception and all the lies, all the photoshops, the lack of transparency, all the repressions by every tier of government, all the dictatorial tendencies emanating from this very regime of unspeakable decadence and evil. All the countless other sins, the sins of the Fulani, Madig, Janjawi, Majiri, those are the ones now, Lesorok, those the lives of 200 million people, 200 million people that we are handed over to an obscure Chinese company. A Chinese company is now in charge of the well-being of 200 million people. The same Chinese that are responsible for very abhorrent racism. They have brought them into the zoo that they may conduct experiment on the lives of those who cannot speak for themselves. They brought them in to weak They brought them in to depopulate us. They brought them in to reduce us. They brought them in that death may descend upon the lives of the innocent. As the lockdown is going on, as the lockdown is going on everywhere, even in Anambra, they are busy installing 5G networks with the very dangerous millimeter wave radiation that weakens the immune system, thereby giving COVID-19 the ideal condition to wreak havoc. Understand what I'm saying very early. People have been asking what is the correlation between 5G and COVID-19. And allow me to repeat very clearly this evening. The relationship is this. 5G, due to the type of very dangerous radiation it emits, all millimeter wave radiation, what it does is that it weakens your immune system that allows this common cold, the same way you have cold, this very virus, to be able to invade the system, lock onto your, the cells, in, and begin to secrete mucus, which is what kills people. I am sure that we understand that very clearly why we do not want we do not want now all of you listening to like tonight your lives are worthless before the scoundrels in Asorok, before the people that you call political leaders of course i do concede that some of them are good people without any shred of a doubt what i do know for a fact is that a majority, a good number of them are out to sell us to the highest bidder. As long as they are comfortable with their families, they will do anything they like with our lives. This very gospel is for everybody who is resident in the zoo. It is not just for the people of Biafra. This very gospel this evening for those 
of you suffering in the middle belt, for those of you suffering in the west in Yoruba land, not minding what some of your journalists are doing, not minding what some of your brothers and your sisters are doing, those working for Facebook, not minding all the effort they are putting in to disrupt this very march to freedom, this very gospel is for all of you. Your future and that of your children has been imperiled. Allow me to repeat, your future and that of your children has been flushed down the drain by this very class of greedy bastards, I'm, I'm sorry to say, in the name of political leaders. It doesn't so if they're APC or PDP, the fact remains that they have all failed you and will continue to fail you. This is something you must understand unless you elevate your thinking process, unless you elevate your reasoning, unless you are prepared to come out of shackles they have set on around you never ever comprehend what I am saying. It doesn't matter who they are. It doesn't matter if they are traditional rulers. It doesn't matter. I'm not saying there are no good traditional rulers. Of course. It doesn't matter which side of the political divide they belong. Of course, they have no divide. The only thing that divides them is how much they can loot. You see people chasing a van carrying loaves of bread when you see people attacking a lorry in broad daylight trying to get what they can feed their family with that is a sure sign that you are living like animals that those that claim they are there to look after your interests that they can never do it not now not tomorrow not ever instead they go to china and they bring in scientists to come and experiment on your lives and that is very sad and highly regrettable if you do not know this by now then you are in one empty mess it doesn't matter which party they belong to they have all failed hence in the past few days with the lockdown especially in the south Abuja, all the way down to the south has shown Will continue to show that we can overpower these people even with their guns if we act as one and in a coordinated manner allow me to repeat if we can replicate what happened in Okiwe what happened in Ibarra in parts of Lagos if people can rise up and say that enough is enough in a well coordinated manner Believe you me, this very corrupt entity will fall. And the people can begin to chart a better life, not just for themselves, but for their children and those unborn. That is the revolution that people are talking about. The condition is now ideal for, but I will tell you why in Nigeria it appears impossible for vote. If you do not revolt, if you don't rise up, a very dreadful, mopping regime, you are finished because you have two phenomena attacking you. Two attacking you from both sides. One is those that want to take over your lives, experiment on you. Reduce your numbers, kill your children, kill your father, your mothers. They exist. Using, using population reduction strategies, using starvation, making sure there are no jobs, making sure that your lives are so miserable, you don't want to live it anymore. That is what some of you said. Rather than committing suicide, rather than making or sitting back in your homes weeping and crying the time has come for people to rise up in a coordinated manner and overthrow the evil people that you have in the zoo ruining your lives
they cannot feed you. When it's for bread, they give you bullets in the head. Do you want to continue living this? Is that what you want? Admittedly, there is no central figure to lead a revolution from the center in the zoo in Nigeria. Because Nigeria has never been won before. Never, ever, ever. Nobody can lead a revolution from the center. Because some sections of the imagery will not come. They will say you're not from their side. All the Janjaweed will need to do, all the Fulani Kaba will need to do is to say, we have your interest at heart, heart as Alamajri, as Ranka did it. These people are coming from outside. They will not defend your interest. That is all it takes. And uh, everything that you're planning will be unhinged. Understand this very, very clearly. It doesn't matter who they are, they are all the same. There is no central figure to lead a revolution, we understand that. But people can now, listen very carefully, go back to your various regions, ethnic groups, identify good, honest leaders that can preside over your affairs and who can speak for you. Very, very, I'm saying this to the young people as well, those without a future in the zoo. Don't allow them to come. Don't allow them to say, oh, don't worry, when the new gets seen, things will be fine. The same people who are complaining from Yoruba land. Obasa was there for eight years. Did your life improve? Those of us from Biafra, especially southern Biafrans, Jonathan was there for six years. Did our life improve? Those of them from the Sahel, even let me say Daura in Katsina, where Buhari came from, and in whose name, a Sudanese is ruling over 200 people. Are the lives of people in Daura better today? Ask yourselves all these questions. It doesn't matter if they make your uncle, your father. Maybe the immediate family may enjoy them and their friends. Maybe you can go up and decide to rape somebody's mother and get away with it. As Erufai's son have just said, he would rape somebody. Or somebody's mom. That is the son of a governor. Such people may benefit. But the leader society, in whose interest we are doing what we are doing, they can never ever benefit. We will continue to remain poor. When a truckload of rice, they will attack it. People will continue to live like wild beasts and animals. In the 21st century, you must understand clearly, please why there must be a revolution this revolution must be religion the middle belt must organize themselves the west must coalesce around somebody preferably surely we are organized in the east we are and we are ready the only thing how many people are they going to kill let me ask if you allow them to keep moving their troops from place to place, if there's um, uh, uh, you know, a revolution in the West, they move there, they, 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 they crush them, or they kill. There is in the East. If we all rise up at the same time, with one voice, in unison, the zoo will fall. Only they can sit around and say to themselves, what future do we want to chart for ourselves and our children? Those who are unborn. You blame to determine the life that your kids are going to live. People talk about USA, they talk about UK, you talk about France, you talk about all these people went through what I'm asking you to do this evening. All of them. But no. Russia, in China, everywhere there was a revolution by the people. The people said enough is enough. And I keep asking black people, at what point will you get to that stage to say enough is enough? And let me tell you what they have cleverly done. They have made it impossible for you to do so. Do you know why? Because of the way that the country was put together. We are going to get to the demolition of the zoo and all their lies. We'll get to that. But we just want to say a preamble to let you understand 
why people can go to Sudan and recruit somebody and say that person is Buhari. Why they can lie to you and say, oh, they are broadcasting live, but it is not live. Why they can Photoshop. They can change a picture in broad daylight before your eyes. They issue the picture. They say it's President Buhari, and some of you will buy into it. It's of the contraption that people have been forced to live under. For you to be free, you must break away from that herd mentality. You must come away and reason the way that we do in IPOB. That is why we win every argument. That is why we win every debate. That is why nobody can stand us in a debate. It's possible. Because we understand the zoo and the plan, not just of the idiots you see in Asarok, no, they're irrelevant. When they are used, as the world is facing now, this very problem, this very problem, that is all those that control the power. All of you heard it. A minister said, a minister said that a Chinese company took it upon themselves as their corporate responsibility to bring their own nationals in the visa. They brought them in. That was what he said. No visa, nothing. And they did not bring them in that they can build factories to employ you. They didn't bring them in so they can lay pipes to supply water to homes. They didn't bring them in so they can pipe gas to your homes, which is obtained in a normal society. No, they brought them to test vaccine. You starting for a very shady Pentecostal part for you to become. In the process, they will extort your money and you will die. Now you understand it? This is the time for people to rise up. You either, everybody on your own, you're a leader. Everybody is. Man, woman, and a, even a child who can reason. People must come together. Now is the time to defeat the diseased lutocracy they are now running in the zoo called Nigeria. By saying all of this because some of you will not come and say, Oh, this girlfriend you're doing is research. You only care about yourself. No, we don't. We care everybody and we are giving you a solution to the problem. If you like, you take it. If you like, you don't. But you see this problem you're facing now, this hunger ravaging people, people dying, coming out, stealing from you know, a few passing vehicles, behaving like wise, you know, in a safari. Unbelievable. Your life has more worth and dignity than what you are experiencing in the zoo. And you can make your lives better. The only way you make it better is by rising up as one to say no to what is happening in the zoo. For all those Yoruba people that work in Facebook and in the media, tampering with a march for freedom, for them to repent and stop being evil. For them to repent and stop being evil. Because they are evil. And that evil will them. The Yorubas must be careful. For that evil that you are supporting consume you. The loss of a Lauren is not enough. You lost a Lauren with this type of behavior. This very, this very dirty game you are playing. Duplicitous, two sides of the coin you are playing. That was why you lost a Lauren to the Fulani. You have not learned anything. Yoruba, you have not learned anything at all. You have not learned anything. This time around, you'll be swallowed whole. You'll be consumed whole. Write it down this night as I preach this very gospel. So that you may know. In the future, as some of you are now looking at the gift of the Lord and Lord and Emirates. And Oba is not there. Europe learn from the mistake they made in the Lauren and not allow it to repeat itself. They must understand this very carefully. People must go back to their regions. People must go back. The West should be one, East should be one, Middle Belt should be one. Exactly what Gideon Oka had in mind. Everybody should prepare because the British that gave the power to the Fulani, they know very well that they are hopeless. They are useless. If we say to the Fulani today, bring one million people who want to cut off their head, and see how it works in the in the in the uh, or, or in the throat, they will do it very gladly. You will see them. They'll come to the streets. They'll grab children. They'll kill them. Nothing will happen. 
People ask and say, oh, but why is CNN not reporting it? They will not report it because it is in the interest of CNN, Bill Gates and all the rest of them to see the population of black people are reduced. If gun wield Fulani reprobates are going to make sure that the population of black people are down in Africa. Believe you me, they work with them. I hope you're doing. If I repeat, if as they know it very well, that the job the families are doing will get them all to where they want to be, which is a reduction. Anytime a black person is killed by the police or the army in Africa, they are rejoicing. In Europe and in America. That there is no inquiry. That is why you never hear them complain about. Have you heard of anybody being shot dead anywhere else in the world apart from in Africa? Are, are people being shot dead? As an African person, man, woman or child. Have you ever asked yourself this question? Why are people being killed when they come out to say we have no food? You have not asked yourself that question, have you? Did you ask yourself that question? And be able to answer yourself honestly then you notice know you're in in trying to get us out of that mess the Yorubas are frustrating it they are frustrating it that is why i say you know i speak the truth you may not like it that is why i keep saying that Yorubas should look at themselves in the mirror they are the problem with nigeria they, they, they have failed to see truth see of course there are very brave people there. people say oh why do you focus on Europe I am focusing on them because they are the problem they are the problem you cannot believe that we came on air as soon as I turned on our systems there were nearly 3,000 people who we are on joining to listen as soon as they felt that oh my goodness if we leave him everybody will be on his page listening they, they shut it down immediately who did it not white people, not uh, Europe, Americans or, or Asians. No, no, it was done by those that claim they are Nigerians. It was done by Yoruba people working this book. When you ask them, oh, no, no, Nigeria is bad, oh, we we'll need to change. This is the solution. What Namde Kano is doing, what IPOB is doing, is for the betterment of everybody. They know it. But because oh, oh he's an evil man. Huh? If he, if he, uh, if Nasena Yoruba, then people are so parochial to the point of harming themselves or their interest. That's how bad some people are. I am not asking them to be part of Biafra. They can go to Yoruba land and be free and decide to join to be slaves to the full for life. That is we have people in Biafra land doing that. We have those who are in power as governors. All they want to do is to be governor so they can they can they, they can vie to become vice president to a, to a Janja with in the north. That's all they do. All of them are not the same. All of them that's they, do. they want to be VP to somebody from the north. That is the height of their political ambition and ambition. Those of us in we live in a so-called country where people deliberately they light the oil and the gas that gives money to the zoo is coming from Biafra land in broad daylight outside they borrow money they share the money amongst themselves and you we will not give you and everybody is saying oh we are one Nigeria can you ever understand that that logic when people let me tell you how people's wickedness can impact those say down the line when Yoruba media when they fail to report the truth when they fail to report the truth they are directly responsible for the, another bomb going off somewhere in Yoruba land that is something they don't know Yoruba media never ever reasoned for once that years and decades of covering up full and evil was the reason why our first auntie lost the daughter. It never occurred to them that full and headsmen will occupy their forest. That useless Yoruba boy or girl in Facebook office in Abuja and in Lagos doing the work of Satan. 
You don't know that what you're doing is encouraging terrorists to be in the forest in your village, killing people. You don't know that. Your brain cannot tell you that. That's what I is doing. What the can is doing is what will drive them away for the betterment of every. I know that the eyes of Europe are down oil, as I have said it before. Allow me to say that people will be given oil and gas to do with as they please. Every country in West Africa will receive free oil and gas because we need their economies to grow. It's very it's common sense. We need market for good services. You don't tell me that with where China is, that China is going to import things from Biafra. Of course not. We need to sell to other African countries. We need to develop other African countries. That the type of life we wish for ourselves and our children, that others need as well. That is why we do what we do. There is no selfishness. There is no parochialism. There is no we and only we, never. You must understand this very, very clearly. People must go back to their regions and begin to talk a matter of urgency. Now, 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 now. For us to survive, when I mean us, I mean everybody to survive. We must ask the morons in Asura and their supporters. In Biafra land, there are plenty. In many governor's mansion and lodge in Biafra land, you have people who are Biafrans serving the interest of the Janjaweed in the north. See what is happening in Anambra State? Through his state, the lie so they can lay pipe for 5G. And I said it in my last broadcast. The reason why they are saying this is to lay the pipes for 5G. And we have the proof and the evidence. It's incontrovertible that they're laying 5G pipes. And cable, rather. In our land. When they know we need, we need no 5G, we don't need 5G for anything. They know we, our mothers, they go to the farm, they come back, they sell their produce. What do we need 5G for? You did not give us railway. Listen, to, you see, our people need to, are we no longer be our friends? Does it mean we can no longer reason? Are you telling me that if 5G we are to be beneficial, that they will bring the land? I'm asking you, they've not built Second Niger Bridge or Nature, uh, uh, Enugu Express Road not built? Igwacha, Enugu not built? Our schools are leaking? We have no hospitals? They built their railway all over the place? There is none in our land? And they're bringing you something, and you think that thing is to benefit you? Oh my goodness, I don't believe that Biafran can swear. If what they're bringing is good, believe you me, they will not enter Biafra land. What they are laying is what will fry ourselves to allow any bacteria, to allow any virus to invade our system. Some of you don't know that virus has no cure. I don't know if we are aware of this. Virus has no known cure. There is no medicine you can take that can remove virus from your body. It is impossible. What you do is that you manage and you boost the body's immune system. I, we claim we have doctors and learned people. Something as minor as this. Good virus has a cure. All, it, all you can do is to get boost your immune system to be able to fight the invading virus. There's no medicine for it. It's not a bacteria. Bacteria antibiotics. You can take the retroviral, which is to slow down the pace, not to kill. In medicine, you have antibiotics, which means it can kill bacteria. There is no antivirus, no. What you have is retroviral. This thing should be out there for, for those who understand. But we keep lying to ourselves. We keep deceiving ourselves. We keep pretending that we know when, in actual fact, we know nothing. I am not ashamed to say I don't know. Every day I learn. Every blessed day I read and I learn. And as I'm going to learn, I pretend I know nothing at all. I pretend as if I'm in a kindergarten. Because anytime you're going to learn something and you come with preconceptions, you're finished. You're gone. You can't learn anything. Ask any doctor. Is there any antivirus drug? Any drug I can take that can kill virus in my... Because in your body, you have over 3 trillion.
trillion, not million, not billion, three trillion viruses in your body right now as, I, as you're listening to this broadcast. And you're not dead because every day your white blood cells are working, trying to stop them how life is. For us to survive, we must outthink the Fulani cabal. What they do is that they find public and they spray money, they promise you, oh, you're going to be the next senator for this district, you, House of Reps, you're going to serve our interests and they serve them diligently. Look at who puts on them and will deal with him after the whole corona thing is over. He thinks he's out of the wood. He is, dream he is dreaming. We have been bombed in Madala, in Abuja, in Lagos, in Onisha, in Akure, in Bini a few days ago. And many more bombs will come. Many more bombs will go off unless we rise up now and do something. Police and army are killing civilians. Not terrorists or bandits, so not Miet Yala. Miet Yala, with their terrorists, they are, they are killing people. Instead of the police to protect you, the police are busy killing ordinary, innocent civilians. Are you telling me that such a place is there? Is that what, is that what you're telling me? The success of this very plan or any other revolution depends on discipline. That is why we discipline people like Ivan that the world may know. Without discipline, especially in a black man, without discipline in a black man, you are not going anywhere. The reason why Africa was carved up the way it is, the reason why Africa is in a mess is because black men are not disciplined enough. To remain suffering no matter what. It's only IPOB. We don't waver. Our enemies, they know that. We don't move. That part we are on, the part of consistently we are there, we do not move. That is what other people lack. And that is the potency of IPOB. And that is the same mindset, the same ideology we want to infuse into Middle and into Europe. Forget your leaders than you. Oh, they, they see that some of them they cannot they, they speak grammar 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 they can't do nothing they, they cannot do anything the same way we have them in the east the same way they cannot do anything for us i mean no, nothing not now not to not ever the time has come they said uh we are this uh, we are politicians we are political leaders the time has come for them to prove leadership okay feed your people which is the commonest thing that any government is doing all over the world are doing it feed them now Feed your people, let's see. You're a politician. They have no strategy. They never planned for food security. They know nothing. These are the idiots that are ruining your lives. All we're asking you to do is to do a little bit of thinking and see the benefit for you and for your children, even those who are not born. Unless we rise up, the police and the army will continue to kill people. Any day we rise up, they will stop. But we must be disciplined. If we are not disciplined, we cannot succeed. There is no president in Nigeria, as I speak, as I shall demonstrate in a, in a very short while. If indeed the majority of the people in Nigeria are fed up of their miserable existence, the existence people have to endure in the zoo, now, now is the time to rise up, now, not tomorrow, before the week immune system with their 5G clause in our millions because we'll be busy attending funeral they will not have time to rebel or revolt anymore to the law abiding Fulani I am not your enemy IPOB is not your enemy you must understand this and my enemy are the cabal those holding you down they're holding you as a stage the same thing they do with the Yoruba as a bargaining chip they go, oh, let's, let's share the money now. Oh, leave those people from them. We give You know, we know them. We give one money. Like the idiot, they said, <laughs> wrote something that um, we don't need Biafra. That I should stop. A nameless, faceless idiot. I don't know where he came from. The law abiding Fulani that wants to see his life improved. To the Yoruba, I am here to help you. We are here. IPOB is here to help you to become free. Let them not deceive you with oil and gas. Let don't allow them to deceive you that oil and gas is the end. Of, oil is now about ten dollars per barrel. 
Very soon or you will be worthless. Don't let them leave you. With all, all the you will need to survive is in the East. Because of that, so please, let's, let's try and be one Nigeria. That way, they continue to maintain their bogus lifestyle while you're chasing a van loaded with bread so you can feed yourself and your family. Why in India, flats in Ikoi and VI having telling you, oh, one Nigeria, we need one Nigeria. You are busy chasing a rickety van on the road looking for bread to steal. They have turned you into a petty thief. Those that tell you, oh, we are you they have turned you into a petty criminal. That's who you are now. Imagine uh, growing up. You know the video is there. Imagine growing up one day and saying to your child, I, I, I understand you misbehaved in school today. Do it next time. But, but daddy, uh, uh, here is a video of you stealing bread in 2020. That's what your child will say to you. The people you claim are your chance, they have turned you into broad daylight thieves. Now you understand it? Now you understand it? And what somebody is doing is, the, the, the idiot working for Facebook, working for Facebook is, he, he goes and he goes, he will come back and he will pose, he will snatch up and say, oh, I took this in, in New York. We were in New York, man. We were in Europe, man. But he doesn't want to make Lagos or Akure or Ibadan to be like U.S. He only wants to go to U.S. alone. So you worship him. It sounds like you run to Facebook. Make your life miserable. Making sure you will not test from his enjoying in America. That is the typical way a black person reasons. Typical. I'm sorry I'm digressing a little bit. Before I came here, I received divination. I received message that this is what we must preach. That the world may hear and know what is happening. They travel abroad. Some of them run away because of COVID-19. Their children are abroad schooling. And if you ask them, how can my own child be like your child? That's why not, don't worry. One Nigeria, uh, uh, I, you will want to break away. You will want to break away. Ask, ask the person, uh, that place your children are, uh, 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 Bosse, Bosse and uh, brother uh, Toyin, they also want to be there as well. No? You hear what they will say? They are stopping you from fulfilling your potential. If you're in a cage like Nigeria, you can never ever attain your full potential. That is a fact of life. Because wickedness and evil prevail all the time. All the time. Nigeria is a fraudulent creation. That is why a soldier or civil defense can kill you without any repercussion. Absolutely none. And as they're killing people in the south, have you heard that they killed somebody in the north? Have you ever heard that in Janjaweed, in Sharia territory, anybody's dead? No. What does that tell you? The gun you see an army of police officer are not meant for terrorists or armed robbers. They are meant to keep you in line. When you see police with, with gun now, it's not meant for terrorists. If it were meant for terrorists, they would have been hunting them down and killing them. They are meant to keep you, the law abiding in line. So you follow. You think they say, yeah, yeah. you say yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, you follow. And meanwhile, after stealing money from the accountant general's office, they burn it. They steal money from corporate affairs, they burn it down. And they come back to you and they say, oh, okay, we are fighting corruption. It's something that is happening. Oh, we are carrying this gun in case armed robbers come. Who are the armed robbers? I don't know the police and the army. The same people you are claiming your fight, are they not the armed robbers? You, who give guns to armed robbers? It's not the police and the army. Who give them? This is police and the army. How many of you get They are Ask yourself this question. You are you claim you're a Nigerian. How many terrorists were killed this week? None. Shout for them. None was killed. But how many civilians were um, 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 16? What is their crime? What did they do? Nothing. They came to a bus stop and said, I will not give you bribe, and they're shot dead. And all of you are quiet. Everybody is quiet. When we speak, Europe will say, Oh, don't talk. Remember oil and gas. Don't talk. And if you're honest, 
with yourself. Nobody will want to be in a contact with people in that way. No human being. You see them with their hypocrisy on their channels, talking rubbish. Hey, our country, our country, this is our country, this is our country. You'll be wondering what is in that country that they want. They want to perpetuate the way they live and their lifestyle. Some of thought we are safe today, but in reality we are not. Full and inferiority because they, they, they don't go to school, they know nothing. So they come to every occasion with a body, with a chip on their shoulder. Inferiority complex. That's why you suggest in a, in a confab, a constitutional conference, you have a very good idea, you suggest it. They will say, oh no, but the, that man or woman, you're educated, no. Even when you're telling them what we said, they'll tell you no. Because it's coming from you. Is that the type of you belong? We are not safe in the zoo. I know that the full name is that I'm making life miserable for everybody. They have the formidable support of the Yoruba media. But as long as we can continue to like human beings, as long as we can get as many people to reason like human beings, we should be able to pull it through their lies. There has to be a nationwide revolution in the zoo and also in Biafra land. Because I am telling the gospel truth, a Yoruba man cannot follow uh, 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 and never, not in a, in a billion years, never, and vice versa, never. That is why let everybody go back to their region and conduct a revolution. After that, people can meet in the center to discuss if they are there's anything to discuss. That is how. Uh, we are IPOB. We are IPOB. You must understand this. We never waver. Not now, not tomorrow, not ever. Therefore, let brave individuals emerge from the Middle Belt and from the West to lead their people. That way we will strike at the same time and we can all be free. Should Middle Belt come under attack, we all go and defend them. Should the Yoruba land come under attack, we go and defend them. And Biafra the same. After the revolution, we can now sit around the table and have a discussion which path to follow. Nigeria is going to kill everyone if we continue this way. Everybody will die in the zoo. I wish to appeal to especially the hungry, abused all over Nigeria and Biafra land to prepare for an uprising or face starvation. As you're locked down in the middle of the belt, yes, the real beneficiaries are the criminals that call themselves one nigeria you must understand this very well they are the only people that benefit are the only ones that benefit our appeal is to you this evening all men and women of goodwill for you to understand for you to understand and appreciate the need the need to be free before we came on editing, they said uh, the the God's Corporate Affairs Commission. Uh, of course, it, it's the news everywhere. It's the news everywhere. This is the one I, I'm reading. This very news this evening from from which publication is? I think it's everywhere. You go and Google it. They will tell you. Go and Google it. It is everywhere. It is everywhere. Fire God's uh, the Affairs Building. Is anybody in doubt that there is no fire there? Go and see it. Who burnt it? Who burnt it? Under Jonathan, was there any fire? Under Obasanjo, was there any fire? They have come. The same breed of Omar Udik of Ibrahim Taher. That's what they do. They loot and they burn. Today it is burning. Today it is burning. Can't you see it? That it is burning? Can't you see that it is burning? They loot and they burn. Tonight we are set. They need to post the Bukhari version. And if I would even like uh, Amaka to post it, we did a comparison, two of them. They were one two weeks ago and the one from Monday. We dissect the two. <laughs> Unbelievable. We are going to this version. This is somebody that the few diseased free occupants of Asa Rock unveiled to the world on Monday night from Cuba. They are still in Cuba. Lying to their teeth. You don't see uh, the, the camera cannot show you when the man is coming in. Cannot show you when he's leaving. 
unlike everywhere else in the world when somebody is coming in you see them when they are leaving the, the podium you see them and have you seen the problem that they are using it is collapsible it's take away can't you see the hinges i keep asking myself what sort of human beings are this can you see the hinges they have on it so if if uh, um uh, abak yari is not well and going to receive treatment they fold it and put it in the airplane when they go there they open it it has hinges like something you fold you know how stupid they are they didn't think about it they never ever thought about it can you believe that can you believe that some say oh don't worry it doesn't matter. how can you say it doesn't matter that is why their police and the army are killing you and nobody's asking questions because you brought your own ignorance upon yourself of course it matters they are lying they are deceiving you if they are doing this to you, imagine what, no wonder they, they, they steal the money and they, and they burn everywhere down. Because they know you can't do anything. They know, they are thinking that you cannot reason well enough. You cannot be reasonable enough to understand. You cannot be reasonable enough to understand, to put one and one together and get to. They are counting on that all the time. All the time they are counting on that. They are counting on your stupidity. You claim you're a presidency or a president. You say you're addressing us live. And where you're addressing us from doesn't exist in Asorok anywhere. They will come bring an old picture of um, Jonathan. Is it the same thing as that thing you're looking at? It is not the same. It is not the same. I can never be. Since January 2017, we have been entertained by the British made. Uh, Yari brought him in to impersonate your head of state that is dead. Instead of people to rise up and say that this is, this is not a joke anymore. They're saying, oh, leave it for us. So. Even if it's a good, good leave for us. And I keep asking myself, is that how people are supposed to reason? But unfortunately for them, as in the last broadcast, they did not, you know, <laughs> there are no flights leaving. They know we track all the flights. They were not able to smuggle the full face mask of Buhari to, to the idiot that read the script um, on Monday. Go and look at the neck. The hole is still there. And it's a very simple experiment. I don't go to school, talk about experimentation and trying to compare and contrast. And um, in real life, we can't do it after we, we graduate from university. We don't do it anymore. Ask yourself this question. The idiot they said they met the EU. I was it yesterday, or the, the, the person met Uchibajo. Is there any hole in his neck? Go and look at the mask he's wearing. Is there any hole in the mask? No. But anytime this one makes or gives a speech or addresses um, 200 million people, there's always a hole in his neck. But the one in Asorok, I told you that one cannot speak. I told you before, he cannot talk. He's just there for photo op. Nothing. Just photo up. Is there any hole in his mask? The answer is no. Do you see why Yoruba people working for Facebook? Have, I don't know how a race can come up and decide to support evil rather than support good. I don't, I don't know why they do it. I, I have no idea why they do it. I don't know why. They, I have no idea why a race of people can come out instead of following the path of what is the truth, the light. They decide to work for evil. I don't know why, but the truth is there and I will speak it. I must speak it. It is the truth. Have you noticed, have you noticed that any time this thing speaks from wherever it speaks, which is in Cuba, you will see the hole in his neck. You will see the takeaway box they have. The left hand that they have has hinges, which means you can fold it and take it away. Ask them, is that what is in Asorok? Are you telling me there is Asorok briefing room that they will have hinges on their, on their, on their left hand? Of course not. Go it all. Who is talking from, from the yeah, on it? Absolutely none, only in the zoo. Because we said, oh, doesn't he drink water? They brought a glass of water and took pictures and shot themselves in the foot in the process. How can you have a country run by people who Photoshop and manipulate pictures? How is that possible? And that's why they're killing you. If they can this, if they can come and say, oh, this dog here is Buhari, can't you see? He is now younger. He went to 
Like he had a statement, he is now 28 years younger. Can you see him? He said, yeah, 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 yeah. He's our president. That is why when you go outside, they kill you. Because they know you're stupid. That is why when you cry for food, cry, 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 they keep quiet. They know you are stupid. You can't do nothing. But had you from the beginning said, no, this man is a fraud, by now they'll be feeding you very well in your homes. Because the money is there. They have stolen. The money is there to feed you, but they cannot because they reason them quite rightly so that you are foolish, you are stupid. When they brought Jubril, you never said anything. Now they can do anything they like and get away with it. There is a family that was, this is, this is absolutely crazy. A family was eating a field of four. They cooked nice, nice of one soup. They were eating. And the whole street descended on their house. And attacked them and tied the pot of soup. Why? Because some of you have failed to embrace the truth. This happened in, in Ahaba. They call it Ahaba. But the real name is Ahaba anyway. That's Ahaba Habib. Forget all that nonsense. Ahaba. In Okwe quarters in Ahaba, in Delta State Capital. They attacked a family and carried the pot of soup. You prefer to be behaving like a scavenging uh, a hyena to stand up and say that what is going on is not right. Let's fix it from the source. It's like somebody who is in a stream. Somebody standing at the, uh, the source of the water of the spring. You know. Making sure that the water is not clear. Six feet in the mud so that the water it's quite moldy and unclear and you're down you fetch it you put alum in it all the time so that the debris can settle and you drink it instead of it the idiot who is making your life oh there's not enough alum there is not enough bucket to fetch water but the water is very dirty and the idiot causing it you can see the fool there making a mess of your life you want to know how america did it you want to know how russia did it they did it by removing those what that's how they did it. But you, you condone evil and you want life to be better. It can never be better. Say, so, oh, leave it. Oh, hey, this country, we are suffering. You will suffer because when you see you turn the other way. Now you understand. In their last broadcast, also from Cuba, anybody with a pair of eyes can see that the hole there, which means. That the Chinese company did not do work. Maybe they left Abak Yari to it. When I told you that Abak Yari took Jubril with him, with him, did you believe me? After two broadcasts now from Cuba, the eyes people are now clear. They can see very clearly that it is a fraud. They can now see it very clearly. It is a fraud. The idiot in Asaro cannot speak. Okay, the EU came. We had this interaction between them and the video. Where he can hear his voice. No. You see him like a cat moving his mouth. But nothing comes out of it. Look at his neck. It is closed. Because he is not the one in Cuba. Simple. Sense that the world knows, of course. The, somebody said, uh, how can he be working about CIA knows? Is CIA country? Is it for the zoo? CIA is for USA, not for you. If you bring, if you bring a, a police dog and say, this is His Excellency Muhammad Buhari, they will salute the dog. If that's what you want. You are the, 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 the moron. Thing you bring as your president, they will, they will accord every diplomatic respect. You don't know that? Oh, they didn't, and of course, you don't learn anything in school. What do you learn? And the time now is approximately, should I say, 15 minutes past every year, and the same number of hours, of course, past the hour you are on this earth. We are dying soon. Line by line, people are tearing them apart. They will have nowhere to hide. After this expose, I'm not sure they will do any more Photoshop. The question people are asking is, every time wife Photoshop, look at Femi Adesino's, one of his own Photoshops, in his own page, he put, his leg was broken. Doing a shoe. And the people see these things, conscientious people that have degrees, people that say we have a, a, a PhD in, in journalism, they say, See these things with their two eyes. Ask them, uh, why are you not writing about it? Oh, no. Uh, they will come after also. Idiot will go there. All he's thinking about is when next they will go and loot their own. 
2028, 2092. That is all that bothers them. What is afflicting you now as you're running and chasing a van full of bread, as you're going about and stealing uh, opera soup from people, they don't give a damn. And you that is going about, you know, being a criminal, maybe it's just some of us. That's what you want. Because you failed to remove the man at the source of the water well or spring that is messing everything up. That is why they kill you. That is why they'll continue to kill you. That is why every checkpoint you come to, if you don't give the money, they kill you in this. They will always continue. And as they're doing it, the full hands are invading. Everywhere is falling. Do you know that they, they, they took over Obanam? Are you aware of that? Every as you're saying, look that full and is coming. The invest is ongoing as we speak. And one day now, people will blame IPOB for it. And say, oh, you are there. And they took a, a banana. Why wouldn't they take it? When we told you to prepare us, did you prepare us? No. I can't fight on eight fronts at the same time. Men are dying every blessed day. You contribute nothing. Our people are hungry. We spend money. We feed them as the best as we can. It's not even enough. This will teach everybody. By the time full honey is done with all of you. I'm done with all of you. Of you, in your next life, you will be praying that any child you give birth to will be like an IPOB member. I'm telling you the truth. Continue in your stupidity. I'm speaking, write it down. What is today's date? 15th day of April. Write it down. By, let the dust of COVID settle. You will see what's going to happen to you. Let all of you, out of your stupid, petty envy and jealousy, you are eating yourselves up instead of facing the enemy. Facing the enemy. You are busy attacking the messenger, some of you, not all of you. Look, this is what you get. Somebody have written very cleverly. And it's complete. Every an episode is like a it's like a drama. A drama. I've called it how to how, how to fake it. How to manufacture an African president. You can anybody can manufacture anybody, go and get the mask and put it on and they trot him out. And they'll pay your media very well. They will say it is ah. Hey, Baba, oh, president, oh, president, they do do anything for money, anything for money. Men without shame and honor. There is no shame, there is no honor. That is why they respect IPOB. That is 80 YouTubers. When they go, forget all the nonsense they write on but When they go back, they say, Oh, uh, 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 darling, I wish I'm like IPOB. Oh. Those things they're doing, I can't do it. Oh. They praise us behind our back, not finding the rubbish they write on social media. They praise us behind, they, they, they call and they tell us. We admire what you're doing. We cannot do it. This is what we have. What happened on Monday is episode two of, of season one. Every it takes them two weeks to release. They will be they will be they will write a script preparing. Every two weeks they release one. Every two weeks they release one. Then they edit and they Photoshop. <laughs> Once they are, they they Photoshop it, they, they turn it out and. 300 million people will lap it up and the white people are there <laughs> oh, we should have stayed there longer you know and ignored all their calls for independence that is something that the chinese now know the chinese have come you know what they're going to do they're going to kill as many of us as possible they will take over our resources our government there is nothing we can do about it because we're dumb very very useless what are we going to do what are we going to do i'm asking if they into Nigeria, what will you do? Nothing. Nothing. You can't do anything. And somebody has given the film a credit. <laughs> I took it. It's quite funny, isn't it? Featuring Jubril Al Sudani acting as Buhari. The audience is 200 million sophisticated morons. Somebody called a group of people sophisticated morons. I think that, that, that is quite appropriate. Bundled together as experimental animals. The British now being used by China. The location is in Havana. That's the location. You know when a movie finishes, the that rolls at the end. I'm reading it for you. After Monday's um, 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 debacle from, from Havana, Cuba. The location is in Havana. And the production. The welfare uh, is Miss Farouk. And the executive producer is, of course, China. Is their production. This is Chinese version of, of, of Buhari. And I consider the co-producers to be the British High Commission in Abuja, Chinese TV, 
the African Union, Afeni Fere, Arewa, and Ohaneze, they are the backup co producers because they see a lie, a lie in front of them, and they condone it. And they said that you want to know it because you're an elder. You're an elder, and the fool is happening in front of you. You cannot get up and say to, to, to Sultan, this nonsense to put there is not Buhari. You cannot say it, and you want me to call you an elder. An elder. As they say in Igbo language, you will kiss on Abhanyanaji. We don't know who you are. The director is Femino, the master photoshopper. The script was written in United Kingdom and screenplay is by Abakiari. That's what they... In two weeks now, they bring another one. Wait for the broadcast live. Everybody should tune into NTA. It's something they have done before. How many of you who are claiming they are clever are actually uh, listen to the speech? Somebody said, hey, Baba has spoken from Asarok. If he was talking from Asarok, how come he could not do the program live? If he was talking from Asarok, how come? Do you know what he said? Do you know what he said? <laughs> oh, dear me. He said, the lockdown will continue on Monday. And he was actually, he was talking on Monday night. He's saying the lockdown will continue on Monday. It shows that he recorded it in, in Havana, Cuba. He on a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a Monday. And he said the lockdown will start on a Monday. Some of you ignore You all ignored it. But it's there for the whole world to see. Let us start from the beginning. Why did they not show us Jubril when he was walking up to, to, the, to, the, to the podium to speak? If at all, they claim is Buhari. They cannot show you. The photos that Femi Additional is releasing, why don't you release it before? This man come. Why? Why can't the camera you're using to film it? Why can't the camera pan to the left or to the right or up and down? It's only straight at the whiteboard behind. Are you asking yourself that? That's a minute. A manner of Photoshop will be everywhere. Loretta Onoche using different uh, uh, avatar accounts on Facebook will be trotting it out everywhere, and some of you be lapping it up. And the chair is going to experiment on you. The Chinese have looked at the whole. Why did they choose uh, uh, Nigeria? They chose that they have looked at the whole Jubilee side. I said, if 200 men do not actually know who is the head of state or who they voted for, let us go and experiment with them. Those people are, are useless. They are lower than animals. That's why they're in, in, in the zoo. Experiment with them. Do you now understand it? Do you now understand why the Chinese are there? Why they have come to experiment with you? Because if 200 million people can use ordinary video and the poorly edited Photoshop picture to deceive all of you, that means you're not reasonable. That means you're, you're good, good to chase room in, in China. That means also that um, uh, you people are ripe for, for, for experimentation. That's why they are in the zoo. Unbelievable. There are intellectuals, there are senators, there are doctors. You see them on, on their TV, uh, this uh, intellectual, they'll be talking rubbish. Nigeria Animal Kingdom, even worse. Even worse. This is, this is, uh, this is uh, something worse than colonialism. Something far worse than nepotism. Something worse than tribalism. Something worse than it. This is evil. You will see the pictures being posted by Michael, of course. You will see the Chinese version of the 13th of April. And then you will also see the British version. Look at the holes in the neck. You will see it. Look at that, uh, uh, you know, that uh, full stop they put to the left side of his mouth. Look at it very clearly. Can you see it? They have done some improvements. At least the mask is no more sleeping. The, the eyelid, they try to align it very well, a little bit. The eyelid. But the hole is still there underneath because they cannot take another mask to Havana, Cuba. There's a flight ban in Cuba. Nobody can come in. Now you understand it? Now you can understand it. Unbelievable. Tell me that there, there's no difference. Look at the lectern being used by Jubril. Can you see the hinges there? If this thing is permanently in the press center, tell me why it will. Uh, uh, why they will need to fold it? 
Where are they, where are they taking it to? Can you see the hinges there? Where are they taking it to? I'm asking them. Where are you going with it? Uh, is it the potted plant they, <laughs> they inserted? Check the old broadcast and the new one. In the old broadcast, did you see the floor was sparkling like glass, shining? The image of their so called uh, president was sitting on the floor. Even the, the lectern itself was reflecting on the floor. Lectern is L E C T E R N, please. Quote me correctly. That is the stuff you come to to speak to people. Let me call it podium for now, anyway. Look at it, it was reflecting on the glass floor. All of them, surprise, surprise. Within a question of two weeks, they have removed the glass floor. They have put in another one, tile. <laughs> they think they are playing with idiots. They don't know that we have them. It's a full presidency by Photoshop. I maintain there is nobody in Asarok. Nobody ever carry is down. Your nose banker is down. All of them, they are down, including Burak. They are all down with coronavirus. They are lying to all of you. And sadly, he even has a, a glass of water. I have mine here. Let me take, take a sip. A speech of 19 minutes. He had a glass of water with him. Did he ever sip water? The answer is no. He doesn't want to move his neck because of the mask, the rubber mask he's wearing. Look at his throat. They've been able to change it. They, they've done a better job in terms of uh, aligning the eyelid and the eyebrow. But look at the hole in the neck. It is still there. Instead of Nigerians to ask themselves, what is hole doing on his neck? Nobody was asking. Yeah, leave it, leave him for us. That is why they kill you. That is why they don't have any bread. That is why there is no food. That is why you are scavenging like a wild business looking for food to eat when you claim you belong to a country. And these are your so called leaders, people who are liars and deceivers. Let us see how far they're going to go. We are going to start our tweets tonight. I know that we know that the whole world is um, involved with coronavirus. But I want to, because what got me angry is the EU. They want to fight in Abuja. It's EU. EU never went to Asorok. They want to go to Asorok. They hired a few people, a few corrupt diplomats in Abuja. They them face masks and say, go, let's talk to us in Asorok. They say EU. They think we don't know them. There is no EU. No, EU did not go anywhere. EU. The people are fighting for their lives. They said EU. What EU? There are the pictures everywhere. Everywhere you see it with your two eyes. You, you know the man is not Buhari. Everybody knows, but they are afraid to say it. They are afraid to speak the truth. And that is why when you go out, the policeman will kill you, the army will kill you, uh, civil defense will kill you. Because they see you as a fool. You don't ask questions. You don't ask questions. Very, very sad indeed. The pictures we have gotten from Femi Additionals page. So there will be no doubt. No doubt whatsoever. Go and look at the Femi additional. One, he was wearing sand uh, slippers. The other one is the other one is a shoe. One of the slippers. The other one is a shoe. The same person. The, the movie uh, director. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. People see this thing. Oh, shoot, people see this thing. Be quiet. And you also expect us to keep quiet. Of course, we are not going to keep quiet. Look at the the Jubril, the, the version in Asorok, talking to the claim is talking to the Moshi Look at his neck. There is no hole. Look at the neck of the one in Cuba. There is a hole. Why can't black people reason? Why can't you reason? Let me now tell you. Do you see the picture that was taken of uh, Jubril from the back? Hey, this is for the, they are good liars. But I don't, I don't know, I don't know why Yoruba will allow their sons to get involved in, the, in this type of scheme, lying and deceiving people. It doesn't encourage me to be in the same country with the people that will de deliberately be turning out falsehood. I'm telling you, it's it's, a, it's, it's rather disgraceful. Look at the picture taken of Jubril from, from the back. Look at the real. You will see a scanner. You know that airport scanner you have when you're coming into somewhere they scan you. Can you see it there in that picture? The banquet hall in Havana. You come in, they search you to see if you have any metal or if you have any guns. Can you see it there? Can you see it? They photoshop 
to, to use cotton to cover it. Can you see? Can some of you are you blind? You cannot see that thing that you the scanner, you you the airport scanner. Can you see it there? What is it doing there? Can't you see it? Can all of you not see it? Are you blind? You cannot see it. Now use that blind. You cannot see the scanner. Is there any scanner in Astro Rock? The picture that they showed you of Jonathan and Buhari. Is there any scanner? Any scanner there? Oh, shy black people. Black. No wonder the Chinese came to experiment with us. No wonder there is hunger everywhere, all across Africa. People riot for food and they kill them. People come out to ask for food and they kill them. This is why, because our brains are not working. Our brain cells are not working. The way we reason is horrible. The way black people reason. Oh my God, it is horrible. Can you see the scanner? Airport, airport scanner, can you see it? Oh, unbelievable, unbelievable. The, you're telling me that these are the corrupt people that the EU officials should give money to? Are you, is that what you're telling me? People that sit on the stage, if they stage something, it's like, it's like a drama. It's a drama, they stage a drama. And 200 people will be lapping it up. A drama. Unbelievable. What this means is that some, if at all, which of course I know is not true, if, if at all, or if you need some diplomacy, from the EU went to the very coronavirus infected as a rock, which I doubt. Uh, then they must be benefiting from this very rampant full of corruption. How can they give money to a people who are naturally incompetent and incapable of running any government only by using Photoshop pictures? Ask me additional. Nobody can ask me additional. What happened to your leg here? Did you have an accident? How come you're wearing shoe on, on your left leg, your right leg, you're wearing slippers? I mean, I, oh my God. <clears throat> unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Some of you are aware. Let me tell you why <clears throat> they treat us the way they do. Why there's racism in China? Do you know what Onyema said? Some of you don't know who the foreign minister is, Onyema. I want to, when you have people being ruled by photographs and by videos, 200 million people, by Photoshop, edited video. The Buhari is no longer there. They edit video and they give to them, they accept it. Let me tell you that that is why the Chinese, that is why the world sees us as a people who are incapable of, of, of human development and civilization. Do you know that Nigerian foreign minister said that, let me tell you the headline, Nigerian foreign minister rejects rumor of discrimination in Wanju, in, in China. After seeing even this foreign minister of Nigeria is an evil man. After after seeing very clearly before his own eyes that the person that shot the video is actually an evil man. Onyama is also an evil man. Of course, he lives in England. His father was a traitor. He a traitor as well. He's from Udi. His father was Onyama Neike. Onyama Neike, in fact, that's the uh, correct um, um, uh, uh, this thing, um, um, pronunciation. Onyama Neike, he was a warrant chief. The father of this foreign minister was a warrant chief in our land, appointed by the British to suppress our people. So his own trade is by bloodline. Onyama's father, listen carefully to this. Some of you know Ezra Zubu, the late um, uh, Chief Justice of Enugu State. Justice Ozubu, some of you know him. Justice Eze Ozubu's sister was Onyamaneke's wife. They demand her because she rejected him. Got the Onyamaneke, who is the father of this Geoffrey Onyama. What I'm telling you is fact. They wonder how I get this information, but I know. I read it in British papers. This Geoffrey Nyama, the foreign minister, the father was a traitor. The father was a, a warrant chief. The father committed an abominable crime. The father killed the sister of the, the Ozubu, who was the wife and the lover. Killed two of them. The British, out of anger, invited him to come to London. They to, 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 to King Jaja of Popo. On his way to Iguacha, in a train going to Iguacha, he committed suicide. 
Go and ask anybody. This Onyama is a family of traitors. Onyama Joffrey is a family of traitors. This man heard somebody speaking Igbo doing a video saying this is how they're treating us. This is, uh, he, he, see what the Chinese are doing to us. He came out to say, listen carefully, that the viral, this is what he said. Onyama said that the viral videos on social media platforms has been causing concern to people in Nigeria until a Nigerian businessman in Wanju posted an audio clip explaining what had happened. A, 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 a businessman. We want to hear who the businessman is. <laughs> Maybe an Igbo man again in Wanju seeking to make money. This is an Igbo man who is the Nigerian foreign minister. The video was shot by an Igbo person speaking Igbo saying this is what they're doing to us. An Igbo Man, he is the foreign minister of Nigeria said, gave an interview. Said, oh my god, it's very sad that the video is not correct, that is a lie. That what the businessman said in the audio tape is what he would accept. That what happened in the video is not real. Foreign this Jeffrey Onyama said that his own people were not being maltreated in China. The same thing that see not I won't say CNN, the same thing that everybody covered. The videos went viral everywhere. There was even a sign of a restaurant at McDonald's saying we don't want any black people here. That today McDonald's actually apologized for what they did. Yet a foreign minister of Nigeria said no, that those things never happened. Do you see what is that? Do you see when you accept that a, a, a picture, a video should be your president, this type of treatment you get? I told you they don't love you and they will never love you. I told you that. This is the company, CCE. They took themselves as part of what they called corporate responsibility to bring their people to conduct experiments on black people in Nigeria, on black people in Africa, on black people in Biafra land to test their vaccine. When Chinese people have not been vaccinated, they brought vaccine to the zoo. Let me see who will take it in Biafra land. That family goes down. No vaccine. These are the things you hear. Then you know that sometimes the truth can be stranger than fiction. A whole for that should be defending people who are being maltreated in China is telling you that I don't believe that people are being maltreated because they've given them money. These black people. Do you see why Africa is backwards? He is an Igbo man. He is a Biafran. They said he's not a Biafran. He's an Igbo man. He's an Igbo man. Do you see how wicked these people are? Do you see how cold and heartless they are? Do you see how evil they are? Do you see how evil these people are? As somebody rightly said, what is happening in Africa, across the whole of Africa, the whole of black Africa, is a failure of leadership across all fronts. The support the base they claim they have has either crumbled under the sheer weight of mediocrity or they have become maybe frustrated uh, by the stupidity of the people that they are governing or those that they are ruling because black people have stubbornly failed to yield to reason the same thing that is happening in the zoo they failed to yield to reason facebook can remove everybody they like that is their business people are less platforms they must know it they must understand this very very carefully they know that people are listening and they must listen to this very gospel this evening our approach here of speaking the truth always and in the manner that we do is so that we can inform people based on facts that not every african nation or people stupid because some of us have failed to reason and articulate things properly 
when I see and, and hear how black people are being humiliated all over the world, it makes me wonder sometimes exactly why, of what purpose we are made. Why did God create us? Because God couldn't have created me, couldn't have created dear friends with the mind that we have, only for us to become slaves. Whilst we are alive. That is impossible, will never happen. A situation both as black people and as African people should give every right thinking person serious concern. In the course of my research for this program tonight, I came across very harrowing visual images and audio of lamentations that honestly quite really belong to, to, to a previous era. We are still being enslaved. We are still being humiliated, not just by foreigners, but by African people in the shape of African government. These are African governments led by black people like ourselves. Their main aim in life is to oppress and to subjugate black population. Unbelievable. This got me thinking, and, and, for, the, and for the best, honestly, I, I thought there must be something wrong with our ability to comprehend and our nonsense in how we process information and knowledge and how we apply it in, in our daily lives. What we are going through in Africa as Africans is worse than slavery in the plantations of the Caribbean and the Americas. Much worse than colonialism or even apartheid. Even apartheid did white people treat blacks the same way that black governments are treating black people in Africa. And if you make noise, they bring up, hey, he has spoken. He will talk again in two weeks' time. People talk like us. They come from our villages, like Onyama. He's from Udi, the number state. The white folks in Europe and across the world cannot understand why African leaders treat their people the way. Sometimes they wonder in amazement. That is why China decided to come to Africa to take over the whole of Africa. China have said, "You people think that European colonialism was bad. Wait until you get Chinese." They say, "Everybody, die off." They have nuclear weapons, they are developing their own son, they have everything. America cannot fight them. US cannot fight China. That is a fact. So China can as well do whatever it likes and, and, and you get away with it. You get away with it. China have sat down, believe you. China sat down and looked at Africa, looked at the black people. As uh, one diplomat said, you have more doctors in Los Angeles. In fact, you have more doctors in California. More doctors in California than you have. These are black doctors claiming they come from Nigeria. You have more of them in California than the whole of Nigeria as a whole. <laughs> so the Chinese sat down. Unlike the British that came in a hurry to steal a few resources, Chinese sat down and said, God will not miss these people if we kill all of them. That's why they have come. God will miss them. Because you remember there is a place in the New Testament that Christians read all the time. Remember the parable of where Yeshua was speaking and said, I will take from those who do not have and give it to those that have. Go and open it tonight and read it. Go and read it tonight. That's what's happening now. Because God gave Africa all these things and Africans refused to listen. God is now saying, okay, I will give it to the Chinese. And I will give you also to the Chinese. Since you have failed to reason, I will take whatever you have. I will give it to the Chinese. That is why they have come. Now you understand it? Stupidity has a price. A very steep price. Ignorance has a price. And we are paying it. That is why when you come outside, they kill you. You ask for bread, you are shot dead. Because a European man is somewhere preparing Photoshop, saying, Oh, but that is in power. The, that is, oh my God. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Our situation as black people gives every right thinking person in serious concern. Serious concern. My desire in life is to see black people across Africa free. To see us build a railway, maybe from. From Cape Town to Algiers. Isn't it very funny? For you to go from 
South Africa, Johannesburg to Algiers in Algeria, you first need to fly to France. <laughs> Black people, unbelievable, unbelievable in this day and age. The shameful pictures and videos of ill treatment of our brothers in China has not drawn the condemnation of World Health Organization. United Nations have not spoken. But when Trump referred to COVID-19 as Chinese virus, or if you call it Chinese virus, Facebook will shut you down. Everybody will be complaining. You will be saying it's racist. I don't want uh, people to listen to this gospel on my Facebook page. That's why. If you call it China, it came from China. Call it Chinese virus. No, it's racism. But when Chinese are treating black people very badly, did the UN speak? The answer is no. Because even the UN, they know that Africans are stupid. They know that very well. They saw those, those idiots. If you wave a, a fake picture in front of them and say, this is your president, by photograph, they will accept. Well, why should we be bothering ourselves? It is time for Africans to rise up and to reason for themselves. To reason, which is what makes you human. Ask yourselves why the UN will not speak. Why World Health Organization will not speak. Why is it that nobody cares about African people, including leaders in Africa? That made Onyama to get up and say that what happened in, in Guangzhou did not happen after all. When he had somebody speaking Hebrew saying, the way, the way I a man, look at how they're treating us. He is an Igbo man, he heard it. But because of the money he will make, the money they have given him from, from this Chinese company, CCC. As his father was, his father was a traitor. His father was a traitor, serving British interest in Enugu. The father of Yemen, go and ask, serving the colonial masters as a, a as a house nigger. That's something that the son is doing, denying his own. But these are your leaders. Right now, from the say, say, is Onyama there? He's one of your leaders. He's an elite. This is denying his own people. China, that's what you call elitism in Africa. No one of the Chinese have come. This time, you people will know what is proper colonization. They will come with a virus. What they have come to do is to test their new virus, the one that is heat resistant. That's what they have come. They have come to make sure that 5G is going on very well. All the equipment they have is from Huawei. All the equipment they have for 5G. Once they switch it on, it will fry your immuno. Um, um, uh, defense system in your body. Once it fries it, then any disease you catch will kill you. Ask yourself, why is it that they're going for in immune suppressing um, 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 viruses? Or the ones that will evade the immune system? Why? The same thing with HIV. Manufactured in the lab. The same thing with this one. Who hasn't seen that very video? Of Jing Li. Dr. Jing Li that manufactured this very one. Then went into the cave and brought a bat. And put a crown. She was the one that said that this disease can now be transmitted into a person. A Chinese scientist. You people are in, in a big mess in Africa. Now you will know that God is angry with you. In Africa, we've been deceiving ourselves. Clapping in Pentecostal churches. Uh, uh, going to Now you will know that your ignorance is going to be punished. God will punish your ignorance. That ignorance you have, that somebody will, will doctor a video and show you, you accept. Somebody will take a picture and show you and you accept. Now, God is going to punish us. You see it. You are about to see chaos. Because there is a limit to stupidity. Every species on earth, there is a limit. The stupidity being exhibited in Nigeria is unforgivable. Unforgivable stupidity. You cannot rise up in a revolution. In this man, how many guns do they have? They are holding everybody hostage. Hostage. And you're all quiet. As if nothing is happening. God has given you the Chinese. And your lives will never be the same again, I assure you. Prepare to go to church for prayer and fasting. But as you're going to all those useless Pentecostal churches, I'm, I'll be telling you live on air that your stupidity is going with you. Why can't we be free? Why can we not be free? 
We cannot build a simple railway line. Connecting one country to the other. Ekowas, Ekowas, Ekowas. They don't even know the own treaty they decide. They have no clue. One idiot woke up one morning. I imagine he woke up. We close the border now. Close the border. Just like that. With no regard for the rule of law. Do you know that something I discovered? There is this very uncanny similarity between Biafra and the suffering people all over the country. Do you know like Biafra, like Africa? Listen very carefully to this. The same way that Biafra land is being controlled from our side, from Katsina, from Sokoto, from Abuja, from, uh, uh, from Brun, is how Africa is being controlled from Europe, from Asia, from North America. That's the difference. You know, you, know, you know what Biafra and Africa has in common? The leaders don't give a damn if you live or you die. It doesn't matter to them. As long as they, they can buy their flats in Dubai. The same way that Biafran governors kill Biafrans or bring out troops to kill Ivy debtors for their masters in the north is how African leaders kill their population to please their masters abroad. That is why you can never hear CNN say, Oh, it's terrible. People were shot dead on the streets of Nigeria, protesting for food. Oh, how sad. How Do you never hear them say it? Never. Not in a trillion years. Because the army and the police are doing them a favor. They're helping them to reduce the population of this black from Africa. Now you understand. Do you understand? This takes us to what we must accept individually tonight as being our problem. Our inability to reason and act upon reason. You not only reason, you act upon that. Look at Yoruba people always fighting the Hebrews. <laughs> Either openly or secretly. Not all of them. Not all of them. A few of them. These are uh, the East East, the South of so-called uh, Lugadian Nigeria. They are the most educated and the most enlightened ethnic groups. <laughs> in the stupidity, in the beginning of you, because you are not sure that um, Biafrans are fighting Europe. It's them always fighting us for no reason. In the beginning of the Europe, Fulani looting and burning, controlling everybody in charge of the air force, in charge of the army, in charge of the police, in charge of customs. If you ask, oh, oh please, I don't. The Yoruba man is don't let any Come, come please. That's them. I will tell them the truth. On Radio Biafra, I speak the truth. You may not like it, but if you go back and sleep, you will say to yourself, "None they can do the truth." That is the truth. They are busy fighting each other, or should I say, you know, being conniving? That is why I, I will. Uh, that is why we are distributing thousands upon thousands of bags of rice. Somebody will say it's only forty. The same editor. It's not from the journalist, it is from the editor of Punch newspaper. He's Yoruba. He wants to spite. He wants people to laugh at him on the can. He only gave, gave people 40 bucks. Can you imagine such wickedness? Can you imagine such evil in a human being that went to university, graduated, is the editor of a newspaper? Editor of a newspaper. Such lies. Can you believe that? They are always fighting the fights they should not be fighting. Meanwhile, the Fulani is looting and burning, looting and burning. And all that Yoruba, oh my God in heaven, all that they have is to fight a fight that nobody is there to confront them about. We are not fighting you. We are fighting for our freedom. If the oil in Biafra land is your problem, I've told you before, we'll give it to you for free. We don't need it. I will sign documents. Who went to take to guarantee oil supply and gas to you? We don't need it. Biafrans do not need oil and gas to survive. We don't need it. Yoruba, I am warning you tonight. No, it's an advice. Please, I'm sorry. It's not warning. It's an advice. The same behavior and mentality you have now was why you lost him. If I'm a Yoruba person, before I come out and speak, I'll first of all look at the shame of a Lauren. Do you know why I like the Chinese? I mean, I can't say. Do you know why I have. In Africa, when 
during independence, as, as the colonial masters were leaving, Africans were celebrating and dancing on the street. I remember very clearly in 1999, when Lord Patton handed over Hong Kong to China. You know what Chinese said that day? The man bowed his head. The man that accepted Hong Kong from Britain, he bowed his head and said, 100 years of shame has come to an end. Do you see men with honor how they behave? But in Africa, we are dancing, bring out masquerade, drop it up and down. But to a Chinese, what matter to them was because if you don't have honor, you don't have pride, you're finished. You are not a human being. You must have pride and honor to be a dignified human being. But in Africa, we are dancing. We are masquerade. And the BBC, today, Nigeria. As a con, can we speak to Dr. Zikiwe? Can we speak to Awolo? Can we speak to Taforo Balewa? Idiots, we are dancing. China bowed down in shame and said, 100 years of humiliation has come to an end. Look at how we are there. If you don't have friends, you're nothing. I want Yoruba to learn. If I'm a Yoruba person, I swear to God, I'm not speaking public. Before I speak, I first of all think of a Lauren and ask myself, how did we lose a Lauren to the Fulani? But they have no shame. No shame. I'm saying it up. No shame. If they have shame, no Yoruba will talk outside until you go and reclaim a Lauren. And the only way you can reclaim a Lauren is through Biafra. Biafra can help you reclaim a Lauren. They have bombed Lagos. They have bombed Akure. They're asking about taking what you have, bring it, let's see. They are in your forest as you're busy fighting the Igbo man, as you're busy fighting Biafra, as you're busy fighting IPOB, Fulani are entering inside you. And tomorrow you want us to react when they attack you with this level of evil that you're perpetrating? Oh, please. Get a life. Get a life. Unbelievable. A Lauren should always guide the Yoruba treachery. Before you before you become a traitor, look at a Lauren. That was how you lost a Lauren. Think very well before you decide to become a traitor. Look at all the foremost intellectuals: Bishop Shanahan, Ajayi Crowder, Dimiari, Asiki Wewolowo. <laughs> they we are used against their own people. They promised uh, Asiki we everything. Asiki wanted to rule an empire he did not create. White man came and created the zoo as an empire, as a, as a supermarket. To the full army, Asiki was struggling all he could to be the prime minister of Nigeria. They told him, no, we can't give it to you. Maybe next time. It was actually the people that did not fight the British that they gave everything to. Instead of a war and the Zeke to come together to forge a new alliance in the South against the North, both of them were busy bickering. Who will be the leader? Who will be the deputy? And that's some nonsense continuity today. But I'm very thankful and grateful to God for IPOB. We are not like that. We love the Yoruba people. I do personally. I have very. I'm, I'm always self. I have friends, I have people I have bond, bond, bond with in Yoruba land. And I want them to change. To become consistently truthful people. As some of them are. It's all, it's, you, know, you know, the problem is that it's always that Yoruba Muslim, that one from Guara. You know, Latif, Latif, uh, Latif Akonde. Such names. You see them. Taiwo Lawal. They are the ones I have issues with. They are the worst of the worst. Suffering from the worst kind of Stockholm Syndrome as a conquered people. I pray to God to relieve them of that very burden and that shame in the learning. Nigeria Health Minister Dr. Osagie Ehanire came on television to say that, that Nigerian government did not invite the Chinese to come into the country. And people are just for him. Who invited them? But the same government acknowledged that the Chinese came. The same government went to the airport to come pick them up. Because they look at the 200 million people as a bunch of idiots. They can lie to you and get away with it. So why won't they lie to you? Why won't they lie to you? If they can you know, dangle a fake picture in front of you and you agree, why won't they lie to you and get away with it? Impunity.
at the invitation of a construction company so the new nigerian government now is um ccecc as, as royal niger I mean, that was on towards many years ago they are hoping to help the nigerian government to battle the spread of the novel coronavirus which they themselves the chinese created the chinese created it so that is to say that the Chinese men the government brought into the country, according to the health minister, are not even medical doctors. Rather, they are construction workers. <laughs> These people that came to help you fight COVID-19, invited by a company. You don't know who they invited. You don't know if these are their spies or that. Nothing. But you have uh, 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 NIA, National uh, um, Intelligence Agency. You have DSS. Yeah. Only when it comes to clamping down on people who don't agree with you, you have the intelligence of this is working. This is what uh, are these people coming in? Uh, do they mean well for us or not? You didn't. You only to be looking for, running from house to house, looking for uh, a journalist to arrest. Uh, uh, we are uh, acting on intelligence. The time for intelligence came, they, they, they were not going to be found. Useless set of people. What a joke of a country. You went to the fountain, to the, to the, to the foundation of COVID-19 and brought people. You claim without anybody knowing. In the middle of a lockdown. Unbelievable. Who approved the letter of invitation to start with? What other did they come in with? So a foreign company can come now and, and, and bring in people into the country without anyone knowing. And as the minister, you say, we didn't know about it, but we now welcome them. Anyway, I think they're buying the recharge card now from Loretta or Chase. They moved it now to 10,000. If you want 10,000 Naira, please apply. They'll give it to you. If you're attacking them, they can an IP. Give it to you. I don't know how much they're paying Facebook. I'm sure it's quite a lot. They must be paying Facebook quite a lot of money to be attacking us. I'm sure. If you want to join the E-Rats, uh, uh, you know, to be attacking IPOB, you cannot actually make money from it. It's 10,000 Naira. They will pay you from Asarok. So you join them. They recruit you and you join them. Uh, maybe they'll give you a Quran and you swear. And then you, you can join them from there. But it is not just me. Not just me. There are people all over the place, all over the world who are complaining. They know what I know, that it will take actually black people themselves to move themselves from the mess they are in. From the mess they are in. It will take black people to remove themselves from the mess they are in. That is one thing we ought to know. That is one thing that black people need to understand. And the sooner we understand it, the better for everybody. Because right now we are in one almighty mess. If you cannot tell, you know, two people apart in a picture. If you cannot tell a shit floor from a tiled floor. If you cannot tell that a lectern is foldable. Can be used anywhere then. <laughs> are in a very serious mess. Look at the leg of, of, um, of um, the master of Femi Adesh. He's broken and nobody is him why you wearing shoe on one leg and the sandal on the other one and your leg appears to be out of place nobody will ask nobody will, why not asking because we are africans we don't ask questions we don't act on reason we act on primitive crude impulses very very sad indeed extremely sad let me try and see if i can play this very interview for the world to understand the mess that african people are in the mess we are in i want Listen to this very lady diplomat. Welcome to the conversation. Listen. IMF, World Bank, all other institutions, they make African countries jump through hoops. Loans will never be able to pay. The U.S., when they borrow money, they're getting it in 1.5, 1.9 interest rate. Africans, when they get the same amount of money, they're paying 9, 10%. The people who don't need a break, they get a break. The ones who need a break, they don't get a break. The sheer survival of the World Bank IMF is based on the fact that African countries and, and many other developing countries do not succeed. Their success is based on our failure. That has to change. And guess who can make the change? We, the children of Africa, we, the Africans, are the ones who have to say, we know your game now. Enough is enough. We're not playing it 
And this is where the diaspora come in. There are more Ghanaian doctors in New York City than in, in the entire country of Ghana. <laughs> there are more doc Nigerian doctors in LA than in the entire country of Nigeria. So let's be serious here. What Africa needs is capacity, capacity, capacity. And that capacity is in the diaspora. So it behooves us to bring the diaspora together. Let them understand what is really going on in our Africa. Diaspora are not going home. Diaspora are angry about Africa because they are not understanding the root cause of where Africa is where it is today. They are you listening? Only you can solve. That lady is actually the Africa Union representative to the United States, if I'm not mistaken. If I am not mistaken, if I am not mistaken, sorry, the AU ambassador to the US, I'm, I'm correct, Africa Union ambassador to the US, are you listening to what she's saying? Action lies with you. To where you go from here. <laughs> they don't love you. They will never love you. And how do you even ask a white man to love you? when you have only how can i put it a picture and you running your lives you want a white man you know a, a, a white man will prefer to respect you than to love you respect you see us they respect china they don't need to love china what china wants is respect and they have it what south korea needs is respect and they have it what singapore needs is respect not your love in Africa, we keep looking for love. Look for people to respect you by virtue of what you can do. That's the way it is. That is the way it is. Unbelievable. 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 It's crazy. <laughs> this, this is crazy. Facebook have been warning people not to hear any posts about Biafra. It's Yoruba people in Facebook. And tomorrow, when they kill one of them, they will ask us to start protesting, to start saying that things are, are wrong in Nigeria. That's what they will say. But when they are helping to dig their own grave, I don't know. That by trying to suppress the truth, they are digging their own grave. Do what I've said it. <laughs> things are happening. Things are happening. Things are happening. That is why a whole mister will rise up and say that what is happening in China is not is not correct or is not true. Very, very sad indeed. And they went to China and they brought people. The same AU ambassador to the US is telling you they don't love you from outside. They do not love you. They can never, ever love you. Do our people understand? No, they do not understand. Will they ever understand? Of course. Wave a piece of paper in front of them, they will tell you, Oh, that, that, that is Baba. Uh, that is Baba. Is Baba, Baba. Baba is speaking. That is how sad, how sad our lives have become. With ordinary Photoshop picture, you can throw 200 million people. Tell me why the Chinese will not come. Tell me Chinese will not experiment with us. Tell me why. Which we got to Tell me why. In Africa. Listen to who actually caused this problem of Corona. Ask yourself if the people ruling the zoo have your interest at heart. Will they involve the Chinese that actually created this virus? Listen very carefully to this, please. How much of this do you think it's uh, uh, virus and you know whatever's going on with U.S. and China? How much of this do you think is China saying, you know what, screw you, U.S. You're playing this hardball with me. I'm going to come and bully you in a whole different way that you won't even pay attention. How much, how much credibility do you give to that? 5%? 1%? I'm not going to answer that question, but I am going to answer the question in a different way. Because I'm Christian at heart, and I like to think that nobody would want to kill people. I will say this much. And if you're listening, write it down. In late November, word had already gotten off of the mainland that there was a virus in Wuhan. On January the 15th, the trade bill was signed. Phase 1. December the 15th, excuse me, December the 15th. I had a whole month off, December the 15th. Six weeks later, the trade truce was signed with an out clause. There was virus in Wuhan in China, and China did not tell anybody. They wanted people to die. 
China never told anyone, and they came to the USA. Well, they had a trade deal with um, Trump, and Trump signed it. And in that trade deal, there was a clause, should there be any natural disaster, any act of God, then we will no longer honor this very deal that we are signing today. Listen very carefully, please. A very clever out clause that the Chinese made sure was in there that said if there was any kind of act of God pandemic, mm -hmm. then they didn't have to make good on what they had committed to buy from the United States. Exactly. Within days, they announced the first coronavirus. Mm -hmm. So did the Chinese know damn well that this thing was running around the world for six weeks? They knew. Before they shut down Wuhan? Yes, they did. Is that criminal? Yes, it is. Does it deserve to go in front of a world tribunal? Yes, it does. They must face the music. Because we know that it was the unfettered travel that made this thing a global phenomenon possible to contain. And then they underreported what happened in Wuhan. Yeah, underreporting. A toddler could tell you based on what happened in Italy, based on what's happened in Germany and in France, and now in the UK with Boris Johnson in the ICU. There's no way in a city the size of New York, 11 million people, there were so few cases. It's impossible. It's similar density to New impossible. York. Impossible. So the World Health Organization should be held accountable for not holding China accountable are you listening to it? Do you see why Trump said he will not send any more money to World Health Organization? These are journalists and analysts, intelligent people. China, when did you know there was a virus outbreak? November. When did you tell the world? Why did you take six weeks? Since this thing be transmitted from person to person, why did you take six weeks? They can't explain. Because they want to overtake USA. They want to be the first superpower in the world. They signed a trade agreement. And in that trade agreement, having created coronavirus in their lab in Wuhan Institute of Virology. Is it? They don't want to buy anything from US. They want the world to keep buying from them. So they will maintain a healthy um, trade balance with all parts of the world. With which to come and buy up seaports in Africa. To buy up airports in Africa. Now you understand this? These are the people that the idiots in Asorok invited to come and kill all of you. And you're clapping at a photoshopped picture and, uh, and the video of an idiot already in, in, in Cuba. Let's listen, please. Accountable for not holding China accountable to providing good valid data so that the rest of the world could prepare for fewer people to die. And that's what you're talking about. To me, these are equivalents to acts of war on the part of China. And then, equally, whether you're talking about NPR or Fox News, most major media outlets on both sides of the aisle came out and reassured the United States that it was just the flu. Within 24 hours... They are using CNN, lots of BBC, using them, all the of them. States. And what we did was dither. We sat on it for six weeks and tried to reassure the public that nothing was happening. Somebody should be accountable for that. Because somebody in the United States intelligence community has to have known what was truly going on in Wuhan. We don't have a CIA for nothing. And yet we told Americans for six weeks while South Korea was testing everybody and shutting the country down that it was just going to be the flu. So there are a lot of responsible bodies right now. Now, taken us to the point where we're at inside the country and in China, and they need to be held accountable. So you don't even have to get on the discussion as to whether or not that was this was a manufactured virus and set upon the world. You don't even have to go that far. Manufactured virus set upon the world by China. Then that needs to be prosecuted. But if we just ascertain. What is known and a known hushed up secret that the Chinese knew for six weeks about the virus before saying anything on the global stage to get a trade deal signed? Trade Somebody deal. needs to look into that. <laughs>
because countless lives have been lost as a result. I will stop there. I want to give you or uh, show you an example as to how civilized people reason and how they behave. Because people have died. Somebody held accountable. She's asking the question, do we have CIA for nothing? She's talking about CIA. Let's go to the zoo. The zoo, they have the National Security Agency. They have military intelligence. They have DSS. They have every manner of <laughs> intelligence services. After seeing all these things that journalists have seen, don't they analyze the effect of the Chinese coming into the zoo? Why did they allow them to come into the zoo? Don't they know that Bill Gates was busy financing Dr. Lieber of Harvard University, who was with the Chinese government through the Wuhan Institute of Virology to weaponize COVID-19? Little did the deceiving illiterate Alamajiri in Asurok know that um, they are going to be from palliative money. Everybody is, some people are benefiting, some are benefiting. Every place that they benefit. When virus was coming out in Wuhan, in China, little did all those uh, full of thieves know that uh, they will be sharing uh, palliative money and collecting, uh, sharing rice and indomie and making money from it and, and burning down the treasury. They never knew. But um, they have benefited from it. I call it the unintended consequences. Therefore, depending on how evil you are, once the scale of the impact of the virus enriches you or aligns with your objectives, you start propagating it. For the likes of certain individuals who may, <laughs> not like President Trump, they see COVID-19 as the means to weaken and undermine the U.S. president. That's what I'm doing to kill off President Trump's ambition to retain power in November. To us, be our friends, uh, COVID-19 also works for us because it's removed certain cobwebs uh, from Castle Rock to reveal the decay inside. People see it in different ways, but overnight, flooding new billionaires emerged from sharing COVID-19 relief money. To Bill Gates, COVID-19 gives the family uh, access to what they've always wanted, which is to reduce the world population. That is a fact. And you must also know that uh, Stone uh, accused Bill Gates of having the creation of this very coronavirus so they can use their vaccine to put mm, tiny microchips in the body of people so they can kill you anytime they want. But in the zoo of Nigeria, you have a bunch of monkeys in Asorok supportedly plan to exterminate their own kind in Africa by asking the Chinese to come and test, uh, test the vaccine on their people. Even Bill Gates tried to convince Dan Gute to join him in the population reduction strategy. And that one foolishly agreed. Of course, he's a black man from Africa. What does he know? Even President Obama knew that COVID was coming. And in 2005, Obama actually opened his mouth and said, in five years' time, there will be a pandemic. In five years' time, there will be a pandemic. Why does Obama want a pandemic? Because it will stop air travel. They planned all these things. It will stop air travel, no planes will be moving, no cars will be moving, so that the ozone, the depleted ozone layer, ozone layer that um, uh, is responsible for the melting of the polar ice caps will repair itself. That's why they are telling you that this lockdown will stay in place till 2022. For some of you who do not know, that is what um, Bill Gates is, is suggesting in some point. In fact, that's what American academics are saying. The... Chinese Communist Party, some of you don't know this, is, this is happening in Biafra land. They have sent somebody who is diseased with COVID-19 into a Boeing state because they need a Boeing state. All our minerals are there in a Boeing state and they want it very desperately. And I'm warning the governor of a Boeing state, Dave Omahi, to be aware that the Chinese Communist Party, part of this CCECC, the new Chinese company now running Nigeria, they have sent a Chinese man 
infected with COVID-19. He was a prisoner in China. They brought him in, sent him to a police state to go and contaminate the people there. It is obvious that Fulani people are determined to reduce the population of Biafrans with the help of the Chinese. The same China that is struggling with her people in terms of the sheer number of people you have in China, the over a billion and a half. Why not compensate by eliminating people in Africa? They met the Janja with them and they said, oh, why don't you go to Biafra of all of them? That is why they sent a diseased Chinese man into a Boeing state earlier today. Have you noticed how they did not lock, they did not lock down the North, did they? Their governors have said that they will not lock down. But everywhere else we are locked down so that Obiano and his friends can lay cable pipes uh, on the ground to fry us all to death. Fearing in the north, you know, they will, they, 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 will, they will riot and they will revolt in the north. They know in the south we are very docile. All days you complain, uh, the police will come and kill you, and that's the end of you. But in the north, in the north, there is no lockdown. And in the north is where they get the light. In this whole called so called COVID relief, they don't they go to work, they go to their farm, they move their cattle from place to place. There is no lockdown in the north, but there is lockdown. And the few Chinese prisoners they brought with them for experimentation, they have released them into a boy state. One of them is in a boy seeking to infect people, and the governor is there. I'm just trying to work on because we detected one Chinese man. Today, earlier today in a Boeing state who is very very sick very very sick and in the midst of all of this no intelligence agency in the zoo well first they're manned by Fulani well, what did they know <laughs> let me look at you Fulani and the intelligence services maybe they should be in charge of intelligence in finding lost cattle <laughs> not uh, finding information that will save lives I doubt that very much I doubt that very, very much. There are signs everywhere that China is not good for us. China is not good for Africa. But African leaders, they will not hear. Because they are so selfish. All they care about is themselves and their immediate families. That is why the Chinese are there today. And for Nyama, who is claiming he never knew, he should go and see the sign. A lot of restaurants in Guangzhou. We've been informed that from now on, black people are not allowed to enter the restaurant. This idiot is claiming he is a foreign minister. He has access to all the intelligence um, 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 information coming in. He said he doesn't know. Anywhere in the world, he'll be forced to resign the next minute. But he's in the zoo. If he can be ruled by a few fake pictures, he can say whatever he likes and you get away with it. But you, you heard a white woman saying that people must pay for the loss of lives of Americans to COVID-19. But in Africa, all of us, sheepishly, sheepishly like idiots, anything goes. A, a, a health minister came out and said, uh, the Chinese, we didn't invite them, they came on their own with equipment to experiment on us. You allowed that to, to fly. And again, a whole foreign minister said, he, oh my God. That people complaining of molestation and racism in China are When they are going to say black people are not welcome here. Can you believe such people? They are saying it because you allowed them to. They are doing all these things because you allowed them to. That's why they get away with murder. Very, very sad indeed. That is the difference between white people and black people. It is there everywhere. And McDonald's in China actually apologized. As I said earlier, they have apologized. And the people are saying some idiots. Oh, oh, Trump shouldn't have um, cut funding to World Health Organization. But World Health Organization, you we are warned a while but we are told. You we are told. You we are told by Taiwan that this virus can move from person to person. You were told, World Health Organization, do you do anything? No. Uh, all you are interested in is, um, don't call it Chinese virus. No, it's, it's racism. But China is busy. When, when when people call it Chinese virus, you were busy. It's racism. But now China is being racist to Africans. And the head of World Health Organization is an Ethiopian, is an African. He's there, he's not saying anything. 
I don't know this type of course we have, having people who don't care about us at the helm of affairs. Of course, they are being chosen by white people, just like uh, Kofi Annan and, and uh, Obama, <laughs> black on the outside, <laughs> but maybe pink, pink and yellow on the inside. 